Hi everyone. Some of the energy that we use today for the electricity in our homes and other places comes from something called hydropower. Hydro means water. People can use the energy of moving water and use it for electricity and other purposes. So today we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use the energy from moving water to move something else. You're going to make something called a water wheel. Water wheels have been around for a long time. If you put your water wheel in a stream or a waterfall, then the moving water turns the wheel. And once the wheel is turning, then the center part, the axle, is turning. And now you've converted your water energy to the energy of motion of your axle, and you can use that to power whatever you want. Machines, mills, you can make electricity. So it's very useful. A water wheel has three parts. It has the blades that the water pushes on, and it has the outer part of the axle and the inner part of the axle. For your inner part of the axle, you're going to need something long and skinny, like a wooden skewer or a toothpick or the handle of a wooden spoon or a chopstick if it's round or a straw or a pencil as long as it's round. For your outer part of the axle, You'll need something that's long and skinny and has a hole through the center, like a cylinder. And it needs to be, the hole in the center needs to be big enough that your inner part will fit through it. I tried using a can that I had cut both the top and bottom off. It didn't work that well because the edges were kind of rough. You could use a roll of tape. You could use something you found in recycling. You could use any kind of toy you have from Legos, as long as it's big enough to go around your inner part. I found that the item that worked best for me was a large straw, like the kind you use for boba tea. Next, we need to add the blades. If you're using something larger like a can, you can cut up pieces of index card and tape them on. I kind of folded them in half and then spread out the lower halves so that I could easily tape them onto the can. If you have a larger item like a can, you'll need to add about six blades all the way around the outside. There are lots of different ways you can make this. I found that what worked best for me was using two straws, one smaller, so that it could fit inside the other one. And I checked it to make sure it would spin freely. And then to make my blades, I used masking tape. I cut a piece of masking tape about two inches long, and then I stuck one edge of the piece on the straw, and then I folded it out and stuck it to itself, and then stuck down the other end. I made four blades using the masking tape. Now it's time to test it out. I'm going to put the inside part in and I hold the inside part of the axle so the outside part can spin freely. Let's see what happens. It works! But I think we need to see that in close-up and slow motion. All right, now it's time for you to make your own water wheel. See if you can find some materials around your house that you can use to make something spin. 
Please share videos or pictures in Flipgrid. See you next time.